real laws you probably never heard of. As of now, 37 states in the United States have adopted laws, executive orders, or resolutions aimed at discouraging boycotts against Israel. These measures are generally in response to the boycott, divestment, and sanctions BDS, movement against Israel. In addition to state-level actions, the U.S. Congress has also considered anti-boycott legislation in relation to this issue. What is anti-BDS? Anti-BDS refers to measures and policies designed to oppose the boycott, divestment, and sanctions BDS, movement. The BDS movement is a global campaign promoting various forms of boycott against Israel until it meets what the campaign describes as Israel's obligations under international law, including the end of Israeli occupation of Palestinian territories, full equality for Arab Palestinian citizens of Israel, and respect for the right of return of Palestinian refugees. Anti-BDS laws and policies are enacted by governments, organizations, or institutions to counteract the BDS movement typically arguing that such boycotts are discriminatory or detrimental to diplomatic efforts. These laws might penalize or restrict entities that participate in boycotting Israel, often involving economic or legal consequences. Are U.S. citizens forced to sign anti-BDS? In some cases, individuals in the United States have been required to sign certifications stating they are not engaged in boycotts of Israel as a condition for employment or contracting opportunities. This has been particularly evident in states that have enacted anti-BDS laws. For instance, a Texas law required government contractors to certify they are not participating in boycotts of Israel or companies doing business with Israel or Israeli-controlled territories. This law was challenged and blocked by a federal court on the grounds that it violates the First Amendment. The American Civil Liberties Union ACLU, brought a lawsuit on behalf of four individuals who were forced to choose between signing the certification or losing professional opportunities and income. These individuals included a freelance writer, a reporter, a PhD candidate, and a student, all of whom faced professional or financial repercussions due to the law. Similar laws in Arizona and Kansas were also challenged and blocked by federal courts, with the courts upholding the right to boycott as protected under the First Amendment. These rulings indicate a recognition of the constitutional right to engage in boycotts as a form of free speech and expression. These cases illustrate that while some state laws have attempted to compel individuals to sign anti-BDS certifications, such laws have faced significant legal challenges and have been deemed unconstitutional in several instances. Final Overview The boycott, divestment, and sanctions BDS, movement against Israel has led to varied legislative responses globally. In the U.S., 37 states have enacted laws or resolutions opposing BDS, often requiring individuals or entities to certify they're not participating in BDS-related boycotts. However, such laws have faced legal challenges on First Amendment grounds, with courts in states like Texas, Arizona, and Kansas blocking these laws as unconstitutional. Internationally, countries like Israel and France have their own anti-BDS laws with France notably criminalizing calls to boycott other nations since 1977. These developments highlight the complex interplay between political actions like BDS, legislative responses, and the principles of freedom of expression and speech.